My name is Dr. Corey McBride, and I'm the Director of Bariatric Services here at Nebraska Medicine. I was born and raised in Kansas City and did my medical school training at the University of Texas Health Science Center in Houston. I then did my general surgery residency and training at the University of Missouri in Columbia, and I did an advanced laparoscopic and bariatric fellowship at the Medical College of Virginia in Richmond, Virginia. I was recruited here to UNMC in 2002 to expand their minimally invasive surgery division and to help them transition their bariatric surgery program from an open program to a laparoscopic or minimally invasive program. And so in the last 14 and a half years, I've helped them advance and develop their program from an open program to the minimally invasive and multidisciplinary program that we have today. In medical school, though, I really found that the type of medicine I enjoyed was surgery, and I decided I wanted to become a general surgeon. And then during the course of my general surgery career, I started to subspecialize even more, and I was drawn to bariatric surgery, which is the surgery to help people lose weight and improve their health and their metabolism. So in the 15, almost 15 years that I've been here at Nebraska Medicine and working within UNMC, I've specialized even more and I've narrowed my practice down where I work in bariatric surgery. Part of bariatric surgery and part of bariatric medicine in general is the idea that we have multiple tools and we have to help pick the right tool for the right patient. So a lot of what I do is patient education and talking through options and talking through what is the right option for the right patient and helping them navigate the path of what's the right thing for them. Bariatric surgery not only helps patients lose weight, but it helps treat the underlying or the associated medical problems that come with being overweight or obese. So for example, um, type 2 diabetes has between a 80 to 90 percent resolution or improvement rate depending on the operation that the patient has and how long they had diabetes before they have surgery. High blood pressure goes away about 60 percent of the time. Sleep apnea goes away about 90 percent of the time. Heartburn and reflux goes away up to about 90 percent of the time. And the health issues, honestly, the list is as long as my arm of the problems that we can impact or improve or make better. One of the favorite parts of my job is at the post-op follow-up visits where I get to sit down with people and we look at their list, particularly their medication list, and say, are you taking this? No. And I get to click the button in the computer and take it off their list. And we just go down the list every time and we get to remove medicines and remove medicines because they're not taking them anymore. And it's probably the best part of my day.